Jay McCullough reporting live from the kitchen. Uh, I've been tasked with creating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich this evening. Uh, and what we did is we went over to Acme, um, tried to get that mobile app working. It's an, almost impossible. Uh, and then uh, start going down the aisles, looking for ingredients for this. Um, the ingredients in the name of the sandwich, so it's, a, it's pretty simple. You can't, can't miss it. Uh, peanut butter and jelly. Went through. Serious Eats article came up. Uh, a few other review sites, and we're looking for just of the three best ingredients in each in each ranking. Uh, best is going to be subjective. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but in so many of these review articles, the uh, bottom of mom uh, product of France Muscat grape jelly came up in a lot of uh, rankings and always placed near the top. Uh, so I, I figured that was a safe option. Uh, and secondly, the Serious Heats winner actually was the uh, Santa Cruz organic uh, peanut butter. I got the creamy because I, I think that's what you traditionally want. I mean. I like a crunchy peanut butter too, but um, I think if we're going for the gold standard here, it's going to be the basic, just like mom used to make there. Uh, so we're going for creamy peanut butter, uh, a good a grape jelly. Um, you can certainly do other jams later, but stick with the classics here. Uh, and then lastly, decided to go with Wonder Bread. There were a few options there, and I actually looked. Uh, Dave's Killer Bread, we really enjoyed their uh, whole wheat bread. Um, but actually for the white bread, uh, I was tempted. There was one left, and I was like, maybe this is for me. Uh, but I did some reading and it was like, yeah, it's good bread, but it's not, if, if you're looking for the, the traditional squishy white bread sandwich that you take to lunch on a school day, um, you really want to, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to hit that. Um, so that's where Wonder Bread comes in. And this is a pretty classic. This is not a fancy one. This is this, presumably the same stuff they've been making forever. Um, and so we're really uh, starting off with the most nostalgic piece here. Uh, and I think we're going to do the jelly first. So let's get the little pop on there. Whoa, that was tightly sealed. And let me get a spoon and some jelly here. You don't want too much, but you you want a little you want a little goobers when you're biting into this. You want a little bit maybe to dribble down off the end of the sandwich there. Uh, that's important. But you do want you definitely don't want to break it up here. We're not going for a pat of or anything like this. It's uh this strictly pate uh, style as we're getting down to that. Uh, and just spread that in there and maybe just spin the plate around and move it in there. Uh, we definitely, uh, I don't know, is this too much jelly? It's definitely going to saturate the bread. So that's, maybe that's going to kind of simulate when you had the peanut butter and jelly sandwich that was so good. It's because it was in your backpack uh, for the whole afternoon. Let's give this a rinse. Uh, so maybe that oversaturation of jelly can work. Uh, and on the Santa Cruz peanut butter, it's got, uh, if you can see that, there's definitely some oil on top. So we are just going to stir that in. Try to give it a more consistent texture for the sandwich here. And the peanut butter, uh, we kind of want to balance out that jelly. Oh, this is, uh, this is pretty solid on top, so we're still going there. I don't know if this was discussed in the review because I did kind of skip over the uh, criteria and just went right to the, the best results. So maybe uh, Kenji or whomever was uh, reviewing us on Serious Eats actually had uh, a lot to say about, about how much stirring you're going to do for that first dip. I assume this is not going to be a problem later on. But uh, okay, let's go. We got excellent there. So that Maybe the oil separation is also going to work here to our advantage. I'm curious if that's going to stay with the peanut butter. Uh, sometimes peanut butters kind of stay homogenous, but if this is perpetually going to have a little bit of oil on top, then, then maybe that it's, it's good for certain uses. Um, so that's, I'm interested to see how this peanut butter matures over the coming weeks. Uh, but here we go. I think uh, you, could, you could say maybe you go a little heavier on the peanut butter. Uh, there's a lot of jelly in there. So, I mean, no one's going to really complain that there's too much peanut butter here, unless you have allergies. Uh, it's only respect that that's fine. Stay away from this then. You, you don't want the peanut butter and jelly sandwich in that case. Uh, but this is presumably some very high gluten bread and uh, certainly a lot of sugar here as well. All right, so there's the basic components of the assembled, pre-assembled, uh, sorry, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And we're just going to combine them right now into each other there. Give it a little press. Don't have to break out the panini. This is probably better at room temperature. And let's grab a knife here. And we're just going to Cut that right down the middle. Uh, I know definitely growing up, there was a time where I wanted sandwiches with the crust off all the time. Um, I've even had a few PB and J's like that, but I think here, here we're gonna leave the crust on. This would probably be the first way I would've been introduced to the sandwich as a kid. And that is peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Jim Cole reporting live from the kitchen. Um, if, you've, if you've got a few minutes, take the time, make it. Uh, I'm sure this um, will be great. Uh, again, unless you have a peanut allergy, cannot stress that enough. Stay away from the sandwich. Have a good night.